welcome back. We are here at Epcot because there is a brand new fireworks show happening. The music is so loud, oh my goodness. I'm so, so excited to watch the fireworks show. It starts at 9.30, which is odd. I'm not sure if they're always gonna start it at 9.30, so I guess we'll see. We can check the show times. We can check the show times. This sounds like a Hamilton song. I mean, if I do anything fun, I'll show you, but this is basically just for fireworks, so let's go. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It means so much to me, and it costs you absolutely nothing. Okay, let's go. I totally forgot to mention, guess what came down? The walls! The construction walls came down, and I'm so excited. The entire center is open. I'm gonna show you guys. Obviously, I'll come back during the day, but let's go look at it. We're gonna walk right underneath Spaceship Earth, which actually looks stunning. I also realized I just, I looked so dark. I'm so sorry, I had wrong settings on my camera. We just made it out from underneath the Epcot ball, and we're gonna head straight. I'm literally so excited. You can't even see construction walls anymore. There's a building over there that still has, like it looks like it's not finished. But look at all this. So exciting! There's a huge wait to take a picture with Walt because it is his birthday today. I think it's over 50 minute wait. Here's a good shot of how everything kind of looks. A ton of people kind of exploring the center area right now. We've got the, this little area with like arches and stuff. It looks so pretty. All the projections and the colors on the trees specifically. It kind of reminds me of the of Frozen 2, like Into the Unknown, like the forest where it's like the blues and the purples. Does it not kind of look like that? I can't wait to see this during the day. I heard it's a really great like work from home area. So obviously we'll be testing that on in our work from home series. And we've got all these like lamp posts here. And then look, the floor literally lights up. That's so cool. It kind of gives Tron a little bit. Like it reminds me of Tron, but the lighting, everything here is so cool. Obviously, there's a ton of people today, an exceptional amount of people because it also is the first day that the walls are down and that the fireworks show is getting displayed. So there's a ton of people here. And then coming off from here, we're gonna come this way and make a right. And inside of here is going to be like this seating area. We're gonna go check it out. So there's a ton of seating here. More seating here. A lot of like round tables here. You know what this is gonna be great for is the festival. There'll be so many seating areas. Wait, these trees are so pretty. Are you kidding me? This will be great for the festivals. Like when you guys come, there'll actually be seating available and we might not have to eat on top of trash cans, which would be great. Also, can we note how sparkly the floor is? I don't know if you're able to see that. Hold on. Yeah, look at it. I don't think that's wet. I think that's sparkly, but I hear misters and I think that they're watering the plants right now. Cause I was like, is, is the ground wet? Are they misting the ground? But I don't think so. I think the ground is just sparkly and they're misting the plants. This is stunning. And then there's like this giant planter here where you would like enter the World Showcase kind of. You see that Christmas tree is at the actual entrance of World Showcase. There's like this huge planter here. I love all this greenery that they're adding and all the lights. I wonder if these are permanent lights. They kind of look permanent. It's so pretty. <laughs> I'm so excited to come back during the day and to do the work from Disney here. I think it'll be so fun. I saw the videos where there were like people saw all the outlets and stuff. So that'll be great to see once we actually um, come obviously during the day again. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go meet up with Caleb right now. I think they're eating at Regal Eagle. And then we, I think we're just gonna walk around a bit until it gets closer to the fireworks. And here's the giant Christmas tree. Oh, it's so sparkly and big. I love it. <laughs> One thing I can recommend is never come for the opening day of anything unless it really matters to you. It's not worth the crowds, I promise. Also, John Stamos is here performing at the Candlelight Processional. The line to get into the Candlelight Processional is gigantic. All right, we're heading on Living with the Land really quick because it has a Christmas overlay with a bunch of Christmas lights. So we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna go watch the fireworks. I don't know if it's because it's the first night of fireworks, but the wait time is 50 minutes for Living with the Land with the Christmas layover.
double or triple the amount of lights than there were last year for Living With The Land, which is kind of crazy because I'll look back in last year's video, I have to go look at it now, but I'm like almost 100% sure there were way more lights this year than there were last year. And like we just came out and Soren, I'm right across from it, is literally 20 minutes. But Living With The Land is like 50. Also, they added new screens. I'll show that clip right now, but they added new screens, which I was like, wait, I'm not going crazy, right? And I was like, what? And when did they do that? They didn't make an announcement, no one's talked about it. They added new screens, which is crazy. But now we have 30 minutes till the fireworks. Um, and because we didn't want to be squished to the front or camp out for three hours, which is what some other people did, we're just going to find a spot and I'm, I'm going to try to get you guys the best view as possible. But yeah, I don't really want to camp out there for three hours. That's a long time. <laughs>